I left ghosted my gf that was financially dependent on me without warning after discovering she cheated on me. My gf and I have been together for 7 plus years, have long talked about marriage, and talked even more about future kids. She quit her job a couple of years back to pursue a medical degree. Last week I discovered she had cheated on me with an ex-bf from high school. I needed to use her phone to call mine. And when I unlocked her phone it was open on a WhatsApp conversation between them. I have nothing against the guy personally, but he's going nowhere in life and I don't understand why she'd want to be with him. Anyway, rather than sadness heartbreak, this actually just made angry. Angry that I've put so much into this relationship and woman that I thought would be the mother of my future children. Angry that I've been supporting her through college including rent food tuition. Just angry. So I arrange a locksmith to change the locks the next day edit with landlord's permission while she's at class. Pack up as much of her stuff as I can find, and leave it outside. Text her of, what I've done and say if she wants to get anything else I've missed to have her brother come and get it I don't want to see or speak to her ever again. Anyway, since I did this both my parents and hers have been relentlessly calling me, they say that what she did is wrong but it's no reason to throw away 7 plus years and that if I kick her out she will be forced to drop out and waste years of education. What do you guys think? Am I the asshole here? Should I swallow my pride and approach this differently? Edit to the lease is also only in my name and she's never paid a dime of rent in the entire time she's been living here. Update, I was not expecting to post an update so soon, but I was hit with a bombshell this afternoon. Over the weekend, both of our parents had tried to come talk to me. However I had simply ignored the knocks on the door and eventually they left. However of course they know that I can't avoid work. So they wait outside my house this afternoon to ambush me as I get home from work. With them is my girlfriend. They insist I talk to my girlfriend and I eventually relent and our parents leave. Once inside, she starts apologizing and begging for forgiveness, saying that our relationship is the best thing that ever happened to her. She will never forgive herself basically everything that you'd expect a cheater to say. And then she gives the most ridiculous excuse I've ever heard. She says that a few weeks ago she found out she was pregnant. She started having conflicted feelings on if she was ready to settle down and start a family. And so she reached out to her ex for support. This emotional support quickly turned physical. This makes no sense. We have always talked about having kids excitedly. She takes out two pregnancy tests showing positive results. She also takes out an unused one and says she can take it now if I don't believe her. So she takes it, and sure enough she's pregnant. She says it's 100% mine as she didn't cheat on me until after she got pregnant. I asked to see her phone, she reluctantly hands it over and, sure enough, she's been texting him non-stop since I threw her out. I tell her I need time to process this and ask her to wait outside. Once outside I lock the doors, unblock her on WhatsApp, and send her a long text. I am reciting this by memory so I don't have to open WhatsApp and see her reply. Whether you end up having this baby is entirely up to you, but you should know the following. First, if the child is mine, I will be a good father and take care of it, but you will never be anything more than the mother of my child. We will never get back together, the moment you cheated on me. Our relationship was over for good. Secondly, I will not interact with you at all until the child is born. Don't reach out to me until then. I want nothing to do with you. Finally, I will not have any role in the kid's life nor will I sign any birth certificate until I get a paternity test. This child could have been the greatest blessing to our relationship and future. Instead you turn them into an excuse to cheat. I will never forgive you for that. I have not read her reply, and don't intend to tonight. I also won't post any updates after this. I get the impression that the kid is probably mine, so I am basically anchored to her for the rest of my life now. Story 2 This morning I 27M found out my GF 27F cheated on me. Where to go from here? So our Valentine's Day plan was to get dinner and spend the night together but I asked my boss if I could come in late as I had some stuff I had to do. However I went to her place this morning to drop off a bouquet of flowers and another gift as a surprise. She gave me a key to her apartment and when I went and there was another guy eating breakfast while she was sitting half naked in a robe drinking tea. 
As soon as I walked in she saw me and burst into tears. The guy looked like he wanted to be anywhere but there. I freaked out at first and the guy left she kept asking what are you doing here. I thought you had to work and saying she was sorry. I tried asking her questions and she wouldn't answer. Eventually she admitted she met him at a bar a couple weeks earlier. They chatted and wound up fooling around in her car and had slept together three times since then. I took the flowers and the gift and left I am sitting at work right now because if I went home my mind would be on her and thinking about whatever they were doing constantly. We've been together 3 years and we're planning on moving in together later this year. I was looking up rings, she said it's because I was her first properly serious relationship and she has no idea why she did something so stupid and selfish, she thought. I wouldn't find out and planned to end it eventually as it was just a brief thing. I asked if there were any others but she said number I don't know what to believe at this point. The kicker is that my birthday was yesterday. We had lunch and got a hotel room together. We had dinner at my place with my folks and I dropped her off at her place around 9.30 as she said she had some stuff to finish doing before Valentine's Day. I trusted her for duck's sake. How and why the duck do people do things like this to others? What am I supposed to do from here? Too long didn't he read spent Valentine's Day morning learning my girlfriend is a cheater and the details of the cheating, sitting at work staring at my screen. Edit at roughly 1.30 pm, I broke up with her. I told her I'll be by later to get my shit and to have it ready. I'll be taking her stuff over and giving her back her key. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel.